The objective of this video is to demonstrate how you can operate with the Sage ERP X3 app. To start, you need to choose the appropriate icon. Using the flag, select your language. Select the environment that you want to work with. Validate your username and password. You are now in Sage ERP X3 Sales App home screen. In the top of the screen, you will find some icons that are always present in your app usage. Menu, that allows you to call the app main menu. Calculator, online and offline status. If your folder is multi-company or multi-site, you can select Choose your sales site. And the possibility to select the customer. In the home screen, you will see in the top right your top 5 customers and your top 5 products. In the middle portion of the screen, you can see your appointments for the next two days and your last orders. If you select one of the appointments, you can see its details. Use the main menu to return to the app's home screen. In the bottom of the screen, you see two icons and sales analysis by month. The first icon allows you to charge the year of the analysis. Select a new year and see how the stats change, including the stats on the top, customers and products. Use the other icon to see more detailed sales analysis. You now see the sales rep detailed analysis per year. In the bottom of this screen, you see a new icon that allows you to send the information on the screen to an email. You will see this icon in several other screens. Click done when you're finished with reading your stats. You will return to the home screen. Note that all stats that we can access from the home screen are related to the salesperson, not an individual customer. Customers Management With the help of the main menu, go to Customer Information. You see all relevant information about the customer that you selected. If you touch the map, you can see the best route from your location to the customer. Back to the Customer main screen, you have several items on the bottom of that page. Use these icons to browse through your customer information. The first shows your sales analysis related to that customer. Use the appropriate icons to chart the graphs layout and browse through the years. You can email this information. The following button icon shows you all unpaid invoices. Select one to see the details. Touch back to return to previous screen. The third icon in the bottom of the customer main screen shows the customer different addresses. Select each one to see the details. The final icon gives you detailed stats about that customer. You can navigate through the years like in the previous one. Use the main menu to see other customer features. Calendar allows you to see your appointments with this customer. Use the new button to create a new meeting.
The customer map option and the statistic options shows you the information that you have seen previously from the customer main screens. The final option I lows shows you the most relevant changes in your customer buying behavior. You can select the year with the appropriate icon. Products Management Products is the main app screen. In this screen, you will create new orders, new quotes, new invoices. This is the screen that makes you make money. In the top left, you have your filters to select which items are displayed below. Select one item to see the details. You can see the existing inventory quantity and the price. Sage ERP X3 Sales app uses the Sage ERP X3 price list to determine the selling price. At any moment, you can see the contents of the shopping cart. In this example, you just see the new line that we had just created, plus some other lines that you had previously entered. Exit the shopping cart by pressing the cross on the top. Let's add another line. Go back to the shopping cart and select Buy. You can now choose to make an order, a quote or an invoice. If you are online, the apps returns you the new number. Order Quotes and invoices management. Regarding the order management, in the main menu select orders. You now see all open orders for the selected customer. Choose one order to see details. At the line level, you can touch it and see details about the product. You can change the line quantities and or discounts. In the end, select Save to update your charges. For this, use the Save icon on the bottom. The other icon allows you to delete the order or to send it by email. On the top, there are other icons of interest. The delete icon allows you to delete several orders. The copy button allows to duplicate the current order by resetting your shopping cart. Be aware that you will lose current cart's contents. To create a quote or an invoice, follow the same process described for order management. Take care that for quotes, the copy button allows to create a new order based upon this quote. Notice that you will lose current card content. Cash Payments Use the menu to create a new cash payment. On the left, you can see all unpaid invoices. Select one or more to create your cash payment. 
you can change the amount to manage partial payments. In the end, press the Save button to create the new receipt. In this feature, as in previous ones, users can email the newly created document. Use the menu to manage cash payments. The cash management enables you to inquire and delete the current receipt. The receipt can be emailed directly to the customer. Leads Management Use the menu to go to the Manage Leads feature. With this option, you can manage leads. Use the plus to create a new one. You can also delete existing leads. Synchronization Options Management If you work offline, you need to use the synchronization options. The first option, Synchronization, downloads information from Sage ERP E3 to your tablet. The second option, Ending, uploads information from your tablet to Sage ERP X3. Let's go to Synchronization. Note that you can select what information you want to download. There is also an option to clean your local data. In the pending option, you can see what data is waiting for upload. You can delete some of the pending options prior to initiate the synchronization.